You are now a public figure. You are now a celebrity. Like you are a public in the public eye. All right. So today you have not missed the boat. You can begin right after this call the 30 days of Thanksgiving or 30 days of gratefulness or whatnot. Okay. Does not have to be a big deal. Do not overthink this. Do not make it perfect. Make it happen. All it says at the top of your post, Hey guys, I'm starting to 30 days of Thanksgiving. Want to join me? Today's topic is this. What are you thankful for in relation to this? I'll be posting something every day. Does not have to be pretty. Does not have to be fancy. Does not have to be a big event, right? Literally can be join me. Okay. It doesn't matter. Do not make it perfect. Make it happen. Hey, I'm Robin Mann and I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. I've been in the business eight and a half years and I do about 25 million as a solo agent. And that translates to around 60 deals or so. I've closed a home a week, every week since 2016 and no paid ads, all organic networking via door knocking, Facebook. Those are the big ones, referrals. The whole point in this conversation is put something out there, ask for them to respond. When they respond, you respond. Okay. So when someone says, I'm thankful that, like, what was yours today? Mackenzie's was just, what was the first thought you thought of this morning? Okay. First thing you thought of this morning and, and are you thankful for that? So love that. Okay. Nice. So if my response to that would be um, that Wally's birthday is in two days and I'm thankful for Wally. Okay. So if I wrote that on Mackenzie's wall, her response is, oh, that's great. What are you getting him for his birthday? Have you bought a present yet? What are y'all doing for his birthday? How old is he? anything as long as you do a question back because that's the point is to begin a little bit of conversations when all of a sudden they're like well, like facebook is going to flip their head around and go did you see kevin swaney he's blowing it up down there like what is going on with him and it's that's what's going to happen because the algorithms see it they love when people interact okay if you want to take it next level you've done it on your page go to whatever area you're farming and put it in the group there whether it's a neighborhood group or a community group or a group that you've created but take it next level put it there i have a question yes on facebook mm -hmm. when initially i had set up you know course like everybody else a personal page and then I set up a business page when I started uh, real estate so where do I post it do you do you suggest that I post it in business and then go over to and have it go over to personal the great question so this is what I was taught in the beginning of when I became when I started doing marketing via social media you are now a public figure you are now a celebrity like you are a public in the public eye so your personal page, unless you have it private, is your business page. The only reason you need an actual business page is if you're planning on doing Facebook ads, if you're planning mm -hmm. on doing yeah. boost, boost for your properties. So like, I know that with um, my CRM, I can do property boost and those happen through Facebook. So, uh, so I do those if I want, I don't do those, but if I wanted to do those, those would be coming from my business page. Now, I do think there is validity in having a business page where even if it's just once a week, you post something and put it on your calendar. This is part of your lead gen guys. Put it on your calendar that on Wednesdays, you're going to, you're going to post something about your area's real estate market, the most expensive home sold or the cheapest home sold, or here's what happened in the news today, or, or this is the paint color of the month, Sherwin Williams paint color of the year, whatever. You're going to post something on there because when Steve meets you at the grocery store. He's going to look up your personal page and he's going to see, you know, you and what you're about. And then he is going to look for you, your business page to see if you're valid. If, and you don't have to have a Facebook business page is my point. You need a Google page, Macy. Macy will tell us that she'll give us a lesson on that later. If you don't have that, don't stress about that. Do not focus on that. I saw Kevin's brain just now go, I'm going to spend my day getting a Google page. Nope, please do not do that. All we're focused on right now is your Facebook and your Instagram. But, and so yes, have one if you have it. If you don't, unless you're posting business like boost, you don't need it. Steve says, I have both personal and business. I post real estate info on my business and share it on my personal. Perfect. So you could do that as well. So every day we're posting three things, right? Y'all have heard me, but we're going to talk about this in group coaching. We'll reiterate it through. I reiterate it through all my calls. 
Uh, the one, two, three, you're doing something personal, something motivational, or inspirational, or funny, and something real estate related. So the something real estate related is going to be, um, hey, I showed a house today, or this is the, I just painted my mantle in my family room. Do you like it? Or I saw this, I went by this shop and I have my business card with a picture of this shop. That post can go straight to your business page. So yes, literally every day you could be posting a real estate post on your business page because you are doing it on your personal page. So and how do you make your bio show up? All right, let's go, let's do some share screen. Does everybody know? Well, even if you know this, we're still gonna look at it together because I bet not everyone does. And I love that Kevin's asking questions because now we will let everyone see. It goes like this, it looks... Yes, Janai has hers right there. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so... Kevin, I'm looking at your Facebook page and it looks like it's got NC Realtor and your phone number right there. Well, let's look Does at Does it? Yeah. Because it wouldn't, it wouldn't show me that last night. So, oh, well, hopefully it took it then. I didn't check it this morning. Is this you? That's my personal page. Yeah. Why am I not your friend? I need to be your friend. I, okay, okay, so, oh, you know what? And I, are you his friend, um, Jim? I just asked a friend request, but. Yeah, there's your info. All right, so here's your. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, so it did it in your intro. This is a cute picture. Um, Thanks. And this is a great picture. What great hair Kevin has, right? It's like rock star hair right there. <laughs> Oh, my page is not available. That's hilarious. Let's see if it'll be available now. So where I do my, yeah, right here. That's where yours is too, in your intro. So I put North Carolina, South Carolina, yeah. realtor, blah, 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 phone number. Okay. Um, I, I, you can do this, the connector coach realtor, if you want, like you can do that in parentheses because they think it's your maiden name and it doesn't matter that you don't have a maiden name, but like, that's why I'm allowed to do that. All right. So today start your 30 days of gratefulness also put it in a community group or a neighborhood group okay if you have a farm that you're farming and you're in that group put it in there if you don't have a farm or you don't have a community group go find one that has some activity and begin to be part of it and even if you don't have a farm if you have like a i'm in so many groups that are worldwide groups do it in there do you think it matters if it's a local thing you're wanting exposure to the world right so if I go, let's say I go into the, um, I'm part of Seren, I'm a part of a serendipity moms. It's a LGBTQIA plus mom group that's, that's supportive of other moms. And like, they actually do beautiful things. They, if people reach out to them and they're like, if they're being outcast from their family, those moms come together and send Christmas cards or birthday cards. And it's really beautiful. They do lots of cool things, but I could go in there if that group would allow me and just say, Hey, I'm doing 30 days of Thanksgiving. Here's one thing I'm thankful for. Boom. That could be my contribution to that group, to be seen in that group, because those are the people I want to align with, because those are my people that I love. And I don't care if they're in Spain or if they're in Florida, because I have agents in both places. So go be seen. And that will lead to everything growing. I'm so happy to see you guys today. All right. Give me five. That was a light day, but it was a good day. I'll see you tomorrow.